Bible story, parable of a prodigal son. Jesus told a parable about a man with two sons. He told a parable because a parable is a simple story to help people understand something that is hard to understand, something that is important to understand. In this parable, there was a man who had two sons. The father knew that someday he would get very old and die. When he died, all of his money and his house and farm would be given to his two sons. The money and property that children receive from someone who dies is called an inheritance. The younger son was very impatient. He did not want to wait for his father to die to get his inheritance. He wanted his father's money soon so he could go and spend it. He asked his father to divide all of the money up and give him his part. The father wanted his son to be happy, so that is what he did. The younger son took all of the money and he left home. He went to live in another country that was very far from his home. He bought everything that he wanted. He spent money on parties. People liked him because he had lots of money. The problem was that soon the money ran out. He had no more money for parties. People stopped liking him. They were not real friends. They only liked him when he bought them things. Now they did not even want to be around him. There was a famine in the country where the son lived. That meant that there was hardly any food to eat. The son got a job working for a man who owned some pigs. His job was to feed the pigs. The son was so hungry that he wished he could eat the food the pigs were eating. Finally, The son began to think about what he had done. He knew that he had been wrong to ask his father for the inheritance. He wanted to go home, but he thought his father would never forgive him. He couldn't even blame his father for that because he knew he didn't deserve to be forgiven. The son went back home. He wanted to say he was sorry. He would not ask his father to let him live in the house. He would just ask if he could work for him like one of the other workers. As the son got close to his father's house, he noticed his father running to meet him. He could not believe it. His father was not even angry. Instead, That he was so happy to see his son that he threw his arms around him and gave him a big hug and a kiss. The son said he was sorry for what he had done. He told his father that he did not deserve to be his son. But the father loved him so much and was so happy to see him again that he wanted to celebrate. He was happy to forgive his son. He told the servants to cook a big dinner. He put a beautiful robe on his son. He put a ring on his finger and special sandals on his feet. The father and the youngest son were very happy. But the father's older son was jealous. He had never left home and spent all the money, but nobody had a party for him. But the father went to the older son and told him that he loved him too. He explained to the son why he was so happy. Don't you understand, son? I am so happy because my son has come home. I thought he was dead, but now I know he is alive. Please, let's all be happy together. 
Jesus told this parable so that people would understand something about God. Sometimes we are like the young son in the parable. We do things that are wrong. We start to feel very bad. We might think that God would never forgive us. But God does forgive us. When we tell God we are sorry, He is so happy. He is happy because He loves us and He always wants us to do the right thing. Do you think God will love you and forgive you if you tell Him you are sorry for something? Do you need to tell God you are sorry? If you do, let's have a prayer right now.